Hey guys. All right, so um, I haven't made a video like this one in a really long time. So uh, I don't know how many people are actually here from when I first started YouTube. It's been many, many years now. Um, but when I first started making some videos at the beginning of this channel, I did multiple videos about uh, the fact that I was super into piercings. Um, since then, I've had a couple of videos, or yeah, a couple of videos about uh, my tattoos and things like that. However, since I started working at my current job uh, about four years ago, uh, I haven't been able to have my piercings that I used to have. I used to have quite a few piercings. Um, however, just recently, um, the policy at my workplace has changed and we are now allowed to have two piercings per year um and so yes i'm finally getting well have my piercings back or at least a couple of them so i just wanted to give you guys a little update as to uh my piercings that i now have in uh it's something that i am incredibly incre incredibly passionate about piercings things like that so uh, i just wanted to share kind of where i am with this now since it's something i really love so uh we'll show you real quick so this is my right ear. I have my conch piercing back in, yes. And my lobe piercing in this ear. Um, so this is a 16 gauge, uh, 10 millimeter diameter conch ring that I have. Um, I recently had it re-pierced, I'm super excited about it. Um, and then this actually was recently re-pierced now, I had um, my lobes done at Claire's when I was pretty young uh, with a piercing gun. Not a good idea, guys, don't do that. Guns, piercing guns are awful for you for multiple reasons, more than what I wanna get into right now in this video, but don't do it, just don't do it. Anyways, so I got it re, um, I had it healed and I got it re-pierced properly now in the correct spot. Uh, where I had it done before, it was extremely, extremely low. I couldn't even wear studs without them looking really odd in it. And, but now you can see it's it's much better. Um, all my jewelry, I should mention, that I'm wearing right now uh, is titanium. It's highly recommended. Uh, it's a lot better for you. Um, and I'm super, super sensitive. I can't use anything surgical steel uh, or anything like that in my ears. Um, titanium works best for me, it always has. Neobium is also pretty cool. So uh, all my jewelry that I have right now, I'll say ahead of time, is titanium. Um, so yes. So, there you go. I got my little opals in both. I love opal, opal's my favorite. So I got these two in now. They're doing really, really well. And my other ear, my left ear, I have, you can see here, I have my industrial barbell back in, also titanium, and then my low piercing in this ear, which is still, this is still from when I had it done with a, holy cicadas, it's a hot day out, they're very loud. This is from when I had it done with a piercing gun. Um, I have a little like crease in the ear from when I had it done, but the placement's not too bad, so I just kind of left it alone. It's doing fine. Um, but yeah, so this is now what I have going on here. I'm super, super excited. I really, really love having my piercings back. I feel more like me now. I wish, um, I wish that wasn't a thing in the workplace, but you know, it doesn't, it does not affect the way I work. I work just as hard with or without my piercings, but it is what it is. And I'm happy that we have come to this point where I can at least have what I have now. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm, what I'm working with. I'm really excited, I'm really happy. So if you start seeing now these in my videos, now you know why I have these back in and why I didn't have them for a while. Um, I had everything before. Um, let me see if I can kind of show you what I used to have. All right, so in this ear, you can kind of still see some of the holes. I had a lot of helix piercings. I had a rook piercing in this ear. I had my, I don't know, a lot of people, I hear this two different ways, either tragus or tragus. I say tragus. 
Um, but this is an anti-tragus piercing I had right here. Uh, you can kind of still see where it was. By the way, of all my piercings, that was by far my most painful. Um, I will say straight up. I don't know what it was about that piercing. I thought for sure others would hurt much worse. Um, but it was a pain. It was a super, super pain to get. To heal wasn't as bad as, like, say, my industrial. My industrial was nasty to heal um and still gives me issues god forbid i sleep on it or you know like i have to sleep with my like my hand over my ear like this or um, i do recommend for anyone uh, with new piercings or piercings like that that are finicky if you sleep on them to get one of those uh travel pillows you know the ones that kind of look like a loop and they have a space in the middle because you can sleep on them and it goes around the outside of your ear you can put your ear like through like the opening in the pillow and then sleep like that and you don't have to worry about that pressure against your piercings while you're sleeping so highly recommend that um so yeah not as, as hard as this one was to heal uh but still not a great time um I, i've literally forgotten how many i've had orbitals in this year orbitals in this year um yeah i've had a lot of different things going on in this year i even had a transverse lobe in this year and then in this one I had my regular tragus, tragus, my regular tragus piercing in this ear. I had a lot of low piercings. I had a snug piercing. You can still see the scar from that right here. Um, I absolutely would love to have that back if my workplace allows me to have three piercings in my ears eventually, which would be awesome. I will get my snug back because that was in my top favorite piercings that I've ever had. Um, I've had orbitals in this year up at the top, a lot of uh, helix piercings up flat. I had a another forward helix up here that I no longer have. Um, yeah, uh, I even had like my eyebrow pierce everything earlier. I still have the scar. Can you see that? I had that pierced three different times. Um, my body does not like surface piercings, and as far as I know, uh, eyebrow is considered a surface piercing, um, and yeah, my, my body was not having it each and every time, no matter what I did, how uh, good I was about the aftercare and everything, eventually it would just start moving and push its way out, and I always would remove it before I got too far, because if I waited too long, the scar would be even worse than what it is right now, and it's... You know, that's a, that's a decent scar that I have there. Um, but, oh my gosh, if there's a piercing that I could have done and have it stay, no matter what, that would be it. I loved my eyebrow ring. I would love to have that back. I, something tells me in the future if I can, you know, if I get a chance to have more piercings like that again, that I will try that again and see if I can get it to stay successfully. I don't want to give up on it. I'm really stubborn about that. Um... But, but yeah, so here we are. We're back at the piercing game. Um, and I'm just very excited that I can have them again. I can say that like 300 times in this video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video is just give an update on that whole thing because I used to have quite a few people um, who would watch my videos just to see like my piercings or to hear more about them. It is something I would like to talk even more about in the future since I've had experience with quite a few piercings. I would love to be able to talk about them a little more and like my experience with them. Um, I would love to make videos about the current ones I have if anyone wants a little more like like a thorough explanation of each. Um, and of course if I am lucky enough to be able to get any more piercings in the future I would love to talk about those as well and like bring you through the process and the healing process and all of that. So yeah, if that's something that uh, people hear, I don't know who's still subscribed from back then or if anyone still is, but if anyone is interested in that, just let me know and that's something I would love to do. So yeah, just let me know. All right, so yeah, uh, that's all. I will see you guys again soon. I hope all is going well and that everyone is staying safe and happy and I will see you again soon. See ya.